it's the world, donkey. <laughs> so today, when we walk up to the horses later, I'm going to invite you to really really sit with what's going on in your body. And for those of you who have experience with horses, I'm gonna invite you to really breathe into your experience and go slower. This is me. This is just Nap Beauty District 5 and all of the animals that are in here right now used to be wild until we left them two it years ago. Carrots. But this carrot burn is fun there, I know it. <laughs> I can give them a hug and feel comforted. Um, I'm not sure if any of you know what oxytocin is, but oxytocin is a hormone that releases when mothers hold their babies or fathers hold their babies. It's the love hormone. And when we connect to horses and to animals, we release those hormones. So we're literally feeling the love hormone and those nice hormones. So I want you to hold those, hold those feelings close to you today. Hold that love and cherish it, not only with the horse, but who you are as you show up from your heart center and with love. So now I'm going to invite you all to choose an oracle card. Before you stand up and choose, go ahead and just look over the deck. Take a couple deep breaths, inhale. Exhale loudly. Again, inhale. Make some sound. Last one. Inhale. As you approach those cards, I want you to also go with intention. Let your heart guide you to the card. And it doesn't have to be the one right in front of you. I'll tell you the journal prompts first. The journal prompts say, what are you manifesting and what are your intentions for the new moon? What do you need to release for your manifestations to come into fruition? The collective group, I got, this is just a card for everyone to kind of hold the energy. Sounds honestly like everyone can use this. I free myself from critical thought towards my body and my worth. Mm -hmm. this thing. List the steps you need to make to bring yourself closer to your manifestation. How can you harness past lessons you learned and what's been working well for you to take with you into spring? What is one new idea or action you're bringing with you into the next month? Mine says, with a steady mind, I am connected to our collective experience. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes me think about just as someone who's holding a space right now, um, to share what I know, to add what I know to the collective to share my light so that it can beam on you and whether it plants a seed or just gives your garden some sunlight, um, adding to everyone's journey and also giving you the space to take some tools with you, whether it's something from 
what we do here today or just a feeling that you get of being in community and in the collective under the new moon and on a journey together, reflecting and sitting. I am connected. And you can just have one sentence, um, just an I am statement for a mantra. And just say that in your head a couple times. I'll give you a second to think about it. I want you to hold this mantra for the whole month. Close your eyes, sit up tall, put your right hand on your heart, your left hand on your belly, deep inhale, exhale. Go ahead and breathe on your own into your heart, deep belly breaths as you repeat your mantra silently inside your head. Embody it. Make it yours. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale loud. Inhale. Exhale. Blink open your eyes, release your hands, and do a little wiggle at your hips and your shoulders. Okay, we're going to move into the yoga section. So if y'all can put away your journaling parts, leave anything else, all that you'd like. Um, we're going to be doing a seated and some laying, so you can just move some of your stuff out of your way when we do that. Nothing intense. Again, this is to relax, not to give a point to yourself or the horses. So I recently started doing my yoga teacher training. Um, so thank you for letting me practice with you guys. I'm very appreciative. Um, that being said, if you have any um, issues like heart issues or um, intense migraines, or if you're pregnant, please just take it extra easy on yourself. Take some extra space to breathe. We're going to be doing some twists and some holdings. Please feel free to come up into seating at any time, to come into child's pose at any time. Do what you need to do to relax and be at ease, to settle, to soak in all this goodness. Okay, if everyone can meet me in easy pose, which is just cross-legged. Hands open on your lap. Inhale, lengthen your crown up to the sky. Straighten your spine. And as you exhale, letting your shoulders relax, your jaw relax. Feel free to close your eyes or have them open and enjoy the horses. Make it your practice. We're gonna practice dragon's breath. So everyone with a deep inhale, exhale loud like a dragon, <sighs> blow fire out. I heard a deep exhale, a loud exhale. I wanna see fire coming out your mouth. Inhale, dragon breath, fire. <sighs> Again, inhale, louder, let it out. Release it, release judgment. Inhale, two more, inhale. Make this your loudest one, let it go. Gently roll your neck in circles. 
making nice big circles one direction right now one more in this direction and go ahead and bring it the other way we have our hands facing up to receive energy to receive the new moon energy of potential and growth okay bring your head to center shift it out a little bit inhale sit up tall Plant your right hand behind you. Lift your left arm up and over your ear. Exhale, twist open. Look up at the sky. Go ahead and bend your right elbow if you need to. Get comfortable here. We're gonna spend two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Looking up at the sky. Up at your left pinky. At your left pinky. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Swing it back, door into the middle. Inhale, lengthen, plant your left arm behind. Exhale, right arm goes up. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Look up at your right pinky, up at the sky. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Breathe. Inhaling, exhaling. Come back to center. Plant both your palms behind you, fingertips pointing towards you. And just go ahead and open your chest. Let your shoulders drop. Gently look up. Inhale, come back to center. Go ahead and shake it out a little. Bring the bottoms of your feet together for butterfly. Feel free to grab your ankles, grab your toes. We're gonna do a couple butterfly flaps. Shake out that energy. Let's fly a little harder. Pedal a little harder, flap it out, get into those joints. Remember, we're not pushing on our muscle. We're letting it go deep inside us. So inhale to your hips, inhale. Slow down your wings as you exhale. Inhale, bring them to an ease. Hold your ankles, inhale, lift through your crown. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, relaxing. We're gonna spend a couple moments here. Find wherever your hands wanna land to make it gentle on you. Remember to be at ease. Slight comfort in your discomfort, but not overdoing it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. See if you can come a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, do a little flap as you fold. Really finding that space, feeling where the air goes. Go ahead and relax here as we take one last deep inhale and exhale in this spot. Inhale, gently roll up. Bring your feet out in front of you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Plant your right hand behind you, left leg over, sorry, right leg over your left. Inhale, lengthen again. Put your left elbow over your right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, look back. Inhale, lengthen. Twist, look back further. 
Ring out all that negative stuff, all that yuck. Ring it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ring it out. Two more breaths here. Full deep breaths. Inhale, come back to center. Find yourself the other way by inhaling, planting your left hand, left foot over right leg. Inhale again to lift as you cross your arm over. Inhaling again to lengthen, exhale, twist. Ring it out. Look back over your left shoulder. And as you look back, I want you to notice something pretty. Breathing here. Any noises that are coming in, just let them roll in and roll out. Inhale, bring it back to center slowly. Go ahead and wiggle out your toes. Shake out what you need, do what you need. And then meet me in tabletop position on all fours. Exhale, lengthen your spine as you push out. Do a couple more of these on your own. Inhaling as you look up, exhaling as you fold in. Two more. Go vertebrae by vertebrae. And on your next exhale, find some movement in your hips, bring them into a nice circle, dropping them back down and around. You can do some small ones. Bring them back, bring your butt back towards your feet. Go ahead and go the other way. All the way forward, all the way back. All the way on the outside of your hips. Breathing into it. Remember you're doing this for your body to prepare yourself for the next month. Do what you have to do to get there. Take the space that you need to take to support yourself. Meet me back into tabletop position on all fours. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist it through your arm, laying your shoulder on the floor and your head as well. You're threading the needle through your arm. We're gonna spend a couple breaths here, so go ahead and find what feels best for you. Your shoulder may feel uncomfortable. Go ahead and just find what works best. As you find ease in your left shoulder and some tension, some stretching in your right. Move around, feel where your breath goes. Get a nice one. Inhale, come back up to tabletop. Exhale. Inhale, lift your left arm. Look up. Exhale, slide it all the way underneath as you thread the needle. you find your right knee picking up, just go ahead and try to bring it down. Remembering this is a safe space. Inhale. 
inhale, come up into tabletop. From here, we're gonna pick up our right knee, draw it towards our right palm as our foot comes in front of our left knee. We're gonna go into pigeon by flipping our toes under our feet and walking it back as we come into a nice upward position. Find that arch. I think you're basically there. You just walk your foot back from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from here, you can either come onto your forearms. You can lay all the way down. Or if that doesn't work for you, you can also stay seated. We're going to spend a couple breaths here. So find what feels best for you in your hips. At any time, reposition. Do what you need to do. You should be feeling this in your right bum. Breathe there. Find space. Carry your breath all the way down. If you're in an upward facing position, breathe through your spine all the way down. Imagine the light beaming out the top of your head. Inhale, breathe deep into your hip. Exhale, let it all go. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let it all go one last time. <sighs> Inhale, come back up to tabletop. Go slow. Again, lift your left knee, bring it up towards your left palm, right or left foot go to your right knee. So you're almost doing like a figure four. Flip your toes and back and walk them back. Walk your hips down. Start facing up, finding in that foundation before you lay down. Keeping your left hip not completely on the ground, but you want it going down. Don't let it lift completely up. Exhale, fold wherever you'd like, wherever feels good for you. And if you didn't fold, find steadiness there. Wherever you are, find some steadiness as you breathe. Find how your breath travels through your body. Remember to let your muscles relax so that you can access your connective tissue. Just like how you let your mind relax so you can access your unconscious. We gotta let it go so that we can dive deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more breath here. Inhale, meet me back into tabletop. Put the tips of your toes together. Bring your knees out wider than your hips. Shoot your butt back towards your feet and walk your hands out for child's pose. You can rest your head on the mat. You can bring your hands in and use it as a pillow, whatever feels comfy for you. This is extended child's pose. If you'd like to go deeper, you can also bring your hands back towards your butt. Resting them on the floor and your head on the floor as well.
and breathe into this child's pose. It's called child's pose because it's for resting. Breathe here. Listen to the noises that surround you. Feel the cool spring air as the sun recedes and the moon comes out. And though we can't see Miss Luna tonight, she's here and she's pouring over you. Visualize the light of the moon pouring over you, filling your soul, filling your body, feeling every crease of you with light, with energy, prana, with healing and rejuvenation, fertile soil. Two more breaths. Last inhale, exhale, inhale, push your palms down and come all the way down onto your belly. Plant your palms in front of you, shoulders aligned, and gently just look up for Sphinx pose. Breathing into the back, your back um, of your back, the lower back. <laughs> Breathing. Go ahead and put your feet, rest them on the floor, turning the tops of them down. Inhale, look down. Exhale, look up. Let's do a, a dragon breath as we inhale, look down. Fire it out. Two more. Inhale. Inhale. Look all the way up. Find steadiness here. If you want to take this pose further, you can tense your fingers and just come up gently. We're not doing upward dog here. We're doing an extended sphinx pose. Find steadiness, engage your core, drop your shoulders. Two more breaths. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lay flat. Go ahead and flip over onto your back. Feel free to get comfy. Again, I invite you to either keep your eyes closed, going completely inward, or keeping them open and enjoying the horses. giving yourself the gratitude for creating this space, for creating this juice. For slowing down. Breathing deep into your belly. more moments here.
to your being. I am. Last moments here. Lather in yourself. Lather in all you are becoming and give thanks to all that you were as it got you to right here today. Practice gratitude every day. and deepen your inhale a little bit. Deepen your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Roll over into your left side. We end on our left, as our left is our yin side, our feminine side. We hold both masculine and feminine. But for the new moon, we invite our feminine side, the rebirth, the creation, the creative, the flow. We give her space. We give her comfort. Imagine you're holding yourself. Imagine your yin and yang meeting and embracing. Being right where you need to be. Being everything that you need to be already. Everyone begin by finding their breath again. Find it in your belly. A gentle rise and fall of your tummy. With your exhale, letting your shoulders drop back. Keeping your eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable for you. As you inhale, find that light again from the moon. Shooting from the top of your crown up into the sky, connecting sky to you. You are of the moon. You are light. Through your sit bones, you root into the earth. In this beautiful land that's filled with forces and love and joy and light. Imagine that light shooting all the way from the sky, all the way down into the earth, growing your roots planting seeds. 
relaxing completely into your breath, into this moment. Who are you gonna become? Who do you wanna be? What do you visualize in your future? What are you doing? Who is surrounding you? What are you surrounding yourself with? What surrounds you that needs to be let go of? What negative thoughts do you need to release? Where does your heart plead for you to let go? Where do your passions lie? What steps do you need to take to get yourself closer each and every day with each thought, with each breath? How do you get closer to being all that you are becoming? How do you let go? What does surrender look like for you? What does it mean to release control? What does it mean to forgive? And how do you do it? What steps do you take to forgive yourself, to forgive others? Become your highest self right now. Let that energy fill you completely. Feel it. Forcing through your veins. Feel the ease in letting go. Feel the ease in releasing. You have the tools to do this. You are your own healer. You are enough. Keep breathing. becoming
let the sweetness take you over. Let your love fill your heart. Gently blink open your eyes. Look around. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Don't lose the energy that we just built up as you stand up completely. Go ahead and put your shoes on. We're gonna begin our neck walking meditation when you're ready. Before we go out, we're gonna collect our energy. Feel all that warmth that we created. Breathe it in. And we're gonna practice carrying this out into the world. I want you to imagine this is the world and I want you to hold the wild Mustang energy of just being, letting go of the stories, letting go of thoughts and just be. So inhale, shoulders back, chest up. Exhale, dragon breath. Two more. Last one. Go ahead and face the horses. Hand on your heart. Look out. 